Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content and boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, man, I'm just coming back from my vacation, went out to Cali for a few days, man, and I didn't do nothing fight-related, no boxing, no MMA. I was just kicking it on the beach with the kiddos, doing it up right there, and I came back to a grip of news, and one of the main news articles that really caught my eye is I see that the friggin WBA and WBC have come together trying to get this damn Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Deontay Water fight going and this is coming out in BoxingNews24.com where it states WBA and WBC wants Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Deontay Water unification match and in this article it goes on to state we soon could be seeing a unification fight between WBA heavyweight champion Andy Ruiz Jr. and WBC champ Deontay Wilder. The WBA and WBC sanctioning bodies are said to be highly interested in a unification fight between Ruiz Jr. and the unbeaten WBC champion Wilder. WBA president Gilberto Jesus Mendoza reportedly met with the WBC president Mauricio Suleiman to talk about a unification fight between Wilder and Ruiz Jr. Quote, now, with that news coming out, dude, this right here is some friggin' bad-ass friggin' news, dog. If they was to really mandate this friggin' fight so this fight would be next, dude, that would be friggin' super sick. This would be one of the biggest fights. This pretty much would be the biggest fight in boxing right now, just for the simple fact is you got these two dudes who have all the belts, and this would be for the undisputed champion of that friggin' heavyweight division. The only other fight that would pretty much rival this fight is a fight with Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford. But I would even have this fight over that fight just for the simple fact is this would be for the undisputed champ in that damn heavyweight division, man. I'm hoping that they are able to do this. If they do do this, dude, that would be friggin' super sick with it. Now, the only thing that I think that will hinder this is you got Anthony Joshua over there with matchroom boxing. Uh, when he had that fight with Andy Ruiz Jr., he had that rematch clause stating if he lost that he was going to be able to get that damn rematch. And I know that Andy Ruiz Jr. and Anthony, uh, excuse me, Anthony Joshua, they're currently under negotiations to see what exactly is going to go down with that rematch, where it's going to take place, and so forth and so forth. There's a bunch of different things that they have to negotiate for that damn rematch, but but I'm not really sure what would happen if the WBA and the WBC came out and actually mandated this fight to be next. Because I know if they did mandate this fight to be next, I'm pretty sure that they would end up getting that fight going. But then you got to do like Eddie Hearn, who was like friggin' straight up prickish with the way that he be running business, dog. You already got him coming out talking about, oh, if friggin' Dillian White doesn't get the friggin' uh, mandatory spot to fight in Deontay Wilder, how he's gonna sue the WBC and all this friggin' crap. Dude, Eddie Hearn be on some straight up ho-ish right there, man. He be on some straight up ho-ish. So I'm not really sure what exactly legal-wise what would happen with that being done with Eddie Hearn or with Anthony Joshua having that damn mandatory rematch or having it end that damn contract that they're going to get the rematch with Andy Ruiz Jr. and with the WBA and WBC coming out that they want this fight to take place. So I'm thinking that probably or the next bet is that they probably will end up having that damn rematch with Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr. While they're having that rematch, you got to do like Deontay Wilder, he's going to be having that damn fight with Luis Ortiz. And everybody's talking about, oh, well, Tyson Fury, they're already signed that Deontay Wilder's going to fight Tyson Fury next. Dude, that don't even mean anything, man, because if it's already in the contract that Anthony Joshua does have to fight Andy Ruiz or vice versa, and while Deontay Wilder's fighting Luis Ortiz, they can go ahead and get those fights out of the way. The winner between those two fights can be able to friggin' unify all those damn belts to be the undisputed champion in that damn heavyweight division and even if Deontay Wilder did have something with Tyson Fury down the line I'm pretty sure that they would end up pushing that back 
for sure, for sure, just so they could be able to get that damn undisputed in that damn heavyweight division, man. But as soon as I seen this, I'm like, yo, I gotta freaking make a video on this right here, man, with the WBA and the WBC presidents coming together to try to get this damn fight going. You know that is what the freaking business is, man. So I'm really hoping that they are able to come to some sort of agreement to be able to mandate this damn fight so it can be next, even if it has to be after the Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz and the damn Deontay Wilder versus Luis. Luis Ortiz fight, even if it has to be after those fights, dude, it'll definitely be worth the wait. As soon as they, as soon as these, uh, both of these fights are out of the way, we can get this damn undisputed friggin' fight going. A fight that should have been made friggin' a year ago. And man, dude, this would be friggin' great for friggin' boxing, great for the heavyweight division, and it'll definitely be great for us boxing fans. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy. I swear, I swear, just wait a while.